right, so let's let's review what we have here. We have the bridge with defense turrets. We have two um, EMP control centers, two what's it called um, bunkers, two Tiberium spikes on each side. We have four Tiberium spikes on each side in the back. We have a tib two Tiberium fields on the back of each side, and but I, 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 I really feel like this Tiberium is not enough. I, I have a feeling that it is just simply not enough. And the reason I would say that is, well, before I do that, let me move this forward here. Let's back down. Move this forward to the edge, more to the edge. That. And so these defense turrets will automatically shoot any enemy targets, any enemies of whoever captured it by an engineer. Now, I will, and I want to add a blue Tiberium field somewhere in this map, but I do not feel like there is enough space. So, what I am going to do is I am going to add four ti blue Tiberium fields. But there is always a catch, isn't there? As this as one as one man as one famous man said there is always a catch in to something i do not know what i'm saying so i'm going to add a tiberium field right here we got a tiberium field right there right there and right there but that's a blue tiberium field but to the tiberium field i am going to let's 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 select all the tiberium fields this, and I'm holding shift and clicking on the item which selects them in groups just like you would in your desktop or other stuff so I'm going to here's general I'm going to click on Tiberium now the respawn point the how fast it respawns I'm going to set that to 7 since it's blue Tiberium every 7 seconds whatever blue Tiberium was captured will be regenerated and uh, the radius well, let's see. What a what's a hundred? What does a hundred do? That seems. See, see, now the Tiberium would be rare, be there, and it would be great. But actually, let let me change it to one twenty. That did not change at all. One fifty. Oh oh, I know why. I have not selected the. The, blue, the Tiberium fields to change. Let's see, that's 100, let's change it to 120. 120 seems right. So I'm going to save the map and I'm going to call. So, what should I call this map? Death Valley? No. What should I call this map? That's a good question. Well, until I come up with a name, I am going to call this map um, map and, and actually no, I'm going to use the camel hump method if any of you programmers what it is basically the first letter of the first word is lowercase and then any other word after it that's supposed to have a space I'm going to add a capital instead of the space of the letter it starts with. So for example, map valley no valley like that and then um, valley and then one and then version one so it's a good way to organize your maps to have other good stuff into it and so until I come up with a name for this map I am going to change this from this to the name of it and put an underscore because for some reason it does not want to put it does not work spaces don't work so I'm going to click OK I save the map and voila you have your map well, anyways thank you for watching I hope you liked the video it's a simple tutorial on how to create maps and you can always create more stuff by using the ramp which you can click there and it'll automatically go to a higher position 
let's say here no oh, I won't deny it wrap well the way the wrap works is you click here click here and then it will automatically go up and it would create a ramp and it would place a ramp and you can see the ramp has been placed now I'm going to undo that okay. uh, so yeah I hope you liked the video comment like subscribe and tell me if you want more tutorials on how to do other stuff different map makers had a great any you name it I'll look into it if I can figure it out then I'll post a video on it